All right, it has been an eventful offseason for the Bengals, so much so that I've gotten a little bit behind in my videos, but wanted to catch up. Uh, I did some research on Xavier Suofilo, the offensive guard that the Bengals picked up. He was with the Cowboys last year and uh, you know, definitely saw some positive things. Uh, now, he's not necessarily a long-term answer, the guy that, that you, uh, you know, really want anchoring down your offensive line or anything, but he does some things pretty well. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, last year, he started four games for the Cowboys, uh, really came in at left guard when Connor Williams went down uh, in, you know, towards the end of the season. So that's, uh, that's what his role was there. He has primarily played left guard in the past. So just because they cut John Miller, who played right guard for the Bengals last year, uh, right, you know, basically at the same time as picking him up, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that that's where he'll play with the Bengals. Uh, you know, they could count on him at uh, at left guard uh, because that is where he has primarily played in the past. Uh, so we might actually see more of a competition uh, at right guard. But we'll take a look right away. So he's the left guard in all of these clips. All right, uh, number 76 here. This is against the Rams, and you're going to see he's, it's a zone block. All right, and he's he's responsible for this nose tackle. Is you know one technique, so he's basically like a half a man over for, from him uh, on the center here. And he does a great job. I'm going to slow it down right away. He does a great job coming off the ball, engaging, all right, and really opening up that running lane for Ezekiel Elliott. All right, and the way he does it too, it's not that he like fully reaches and hinges. I think when, when people hear the term reach. All right, you know, that's a lot of the times what people think about is, you know, like you reach block and you, and you hinge. So, you know, this is like a zone block, but he's, uh, you know, he is zone blocking and he's giving the running back really a two-way go off. Of him. That's kind of the point of zone blocking is you leave op options open for the running back. So if you look at it right here, all right, uh, if, if the center, you know, continues to push this guy out this way, you get – you got a two-way go for the running back here. He can read that and take whatever side of it he wants. That's what you want. All right, now what happens is, yes, the center does continue to get movement. All right, but the other gap's getting blown up. All right, because that left tackle is getting pushed back into it. So it's a good thing they had two options, right? He takes, he takes the right side, and he's in for the touchdown. So this is a good job. Giving him that two-way go, Elliott takes advantage, and that is a touchdown for the Cowboys. All right, the uh, the following week, week 16, they played the Eagles. All right, so this is um, a combo block. We're going to see Suofilo gets a strike in on the front level, all right, on the defensive tackle. All right, he was in a two-eye on him. Gets the shot in, so the center can take over, and then he climbs up to the second level of the linebacker. So this is a good job. Gets that shot, off it quickly, up to the linebacker. Take a look at it a little bit slower. All right, shot in. That helps Frederick take it over. And boom, he's right up to the second level getting that block. All right, so some good stuff there. Definitely liking what I'm seeing on that rep. All right, we're going to go a little bit later in this game. We're going to go to the second half. And we're going to look at him once again getting up to the second linebacker, getting up, uh, second level, excuse me, getting up to linebacker depth. Okay, against the left guard. All right. Now, initially, again, he's thinking about that two eye, right? So he reaches out his hand, all right? But Frederick does a great job of cutting this off the center there. All right, snaps and gets off the ball real fast. He gets out wide and gets up to that linebacker once again. Great job getting up to that linebacker. Opens up the running lane for Zeke. So another great rep, uh, another awesome job on that one. We're going to go back to that game 
against the Rams now. Uh, we're going to go into the fourth quarter of that game. Uh, to look at another example here. All right. So this is a little bit different. He's got a three technique, and this is going to be a backside run. All right. This is now he's on the backside of the run of the zone play. He's got the three technique, which they're going to have the tackle try and take over here. And again, he's trying to get up there with speed. It's an outside zone. He's trying to get up to the linebacker depth. And so he cuts this thing way back for a wider, wider zone path like this. All right. But he gets up there and gets in on his man. All right. So we're seeing some athleticism here. All right. Now, I don't think he's a, he's a hugely powerful, really strong, uh, you know, people mover type of guard. Um, he's a guy that can move and that's what they had success with. They realized they had some guys that can move and they had more success in the, the gap scheme, gap scheme plays, uh, where they were really getting guys on the move, getting guys out in there in space. Uh, so I think that's a big part of why they brought him in. We're going to see right here. Once again, at the left guard, we're going to see him pull now. All right. And you know, that's something that things I've, I've, I've read, I've looked up on him. Uh, you know, the reports I'm seeing on him are he's a, he's a good puller. You know, he can come around, he's athletic, and then he can engage with guys in space as well. So we're going to see the pull here. I'll slow it down. All right, that's a hinge pull. I mean, he doesn't stay scored to the line of scrimmage, but then he comes around, finds that pursuit, and gets in a good block on it. All right, running back goes down. That's <laughs> uh, that that is unrelated though. All right, so we see some good stuff out of him uh, in the run game. We're going to go a little bit earlier in this game and uh, you know look at the look at the pass game. We're actually going to look at his screen. So again, looking at athletic ability, you know how he's able to move in space uh, this time on the screenplay. And that's not it. <laughs> All right, so we'll look from the wide here first because there's a little bit of value to that when we're looking at, at the screenplay. Uh, so, again, he is right there. He's the left guard. All right, we're going to see him get out in space. All right. And he goes, you know, you can see him getting out there in space, goes for the uh, the cut. All right, diving the knees there. Could probably take another step towards that guy and get into a little bit better position. Uh, but, you know, we see him getting out there and getting on the move. Again, this is what you're getting with this guy. You're getting a guy who's a pretty good athlete who can move around. Uh, and this is some of the positive stuff that he's going to be able to bring to you. All right. At the end of the day, he made those guys run around him. All right. <laughs> not, you know, not exactly lights out. Uh, but you can see the athletic ability and you can see uh, some of the potential. You know, some of the potential, some of the stuff that we're, uh, we're talking about there. So I'm going to go a week earlier than this, actually, uh, to when they played the Bears, all right? And we're just going to look at one play from this game, then we're going to get back to that Eagles game. Uh, now we're going to talk about pass protection, all right? So uh, there, one thing I'm really impressed with him in, uh, in pass protection, is how intelligent he is, how he's able to pick up blitzes, how he's able to adjust. So we'll take a look. I'm just going to close my mouth for a second, let you watch him on this play. All right, left guard. Okay, so let's talk about this. Okay, and I'm going to play it one more time, and then I'm going to pause it. All right, so how do they block this? Okay, look, I'm not in their meetings. Uh, every Everybody, every old line coach is going to look at things differently. But the fact of the matter is, they have film. They've seen the Bears. They've got to be aware that they run blitzes like this. All right. So this is four guys coming from one side. There's only one way to block this. All right. There's only one way that you, you can block this with what they've got. They've got four guys here. They've just all got to be able to push it off. And the only one who's actually doing that is Xavier Suofilo. All right. So what has to happen for them to be able to pick this up. And again, I don't know if they're having this meeting or not, but Suofilo figured it out and nobody else did, right? The left tackle here has got to pick up this wide edge blitzer. All right, suofilo has got to get out to that guy. All right, and you can see he's trying to get there. The tackle is in his way, all right? 
this uh, this third guy, all right, the center's got to kick out to him, and this left guard's got to get out here. That's the only way you can pick that up. He's the only one that's really seen it and making that adjustment, though. All right, my system is uh, not happy with me right now. But, all right, so boom. You can see, as I slow it down, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get out there wide to it. All right. So, I mean, hey, that, that's that's really good on his part. And we're going to see some more stuff uh, as we get into this Eagles game where, you know, it looks like he's a really intelligent player and trying to do some some really high-end things to pick up these blitzes. Um, you know, the Bengals weren't great at that last year. All right. And that's, uh, that's putting it nicely. All right. Uh, that was – Definitely not their strong suit, something that the offensive line struggled with, particularly early in the year. So he's a guy that has a high level of understanding uh, and can can pick up some of these blitzes. So we're looking at uh, a twist now, all right, against the Eagles, and I'm going to take it right to the tight. All right, again, he's the left guard right there. I'll let you watch it first. This is exactly the sort of thing that the Bengals struggled with on their offensive line last year, all right? Picking up twists, but any kind of twist, any kind of stunt on the on the defensive line, the Bengals struggled. All right. Here, he is pass setting. All right. He is pass setting and he is looking right out here to this guy. Okay. That guy's in a four technique. All right. But he's aware and they've made calls and everything. And, and he's aware that there's a wide nine out here. So that's where the tackle's setting. So he's setting to this guy. So he starts, you know, setting to that wide rusher. All right. Starts to set to that wide rusher. That, that guy's crossing his face right away. He adjusts. Gets a shot in, keeps his eyes up. All right. What happens? Somebody comes back around. All right. And that's, you know, that's something to be aware of. You see something like that. Somebody else is coming. All right. It's either it's either this nine's going to be coming in as well, and they're sending a blitz off the edge, or or there's you know whipping somebody around like they are here. One of those two things is is generally happen when you see this. So that's a smart play on his part to be aware of that, keeping his eyes up, understanding you know his role. And as we go slow here, all right, eyes up. Sees that guy coming back, adjust, not in great body position because of where he was, but look at him adjust and pick that up. That's an awesome job, right? So he does a great job with that. Again, you know, does some uh, some really, you know, really smart, really intelligent things uh, in pass protection. Uh, we are going to go later in this game into the third quarter now, and we're going to see him uh, picking up another blitz. So this is early in the second half. All right, this is a really interesting one. Okay, again, I'll let you take a look. Left guard. All right, so as you can see, he kicks out. All right. His guy drops off. All right, the guy that's right in front of him drops off. He knows, he understands that there's help inside, but that this guy doesn't have help. All right. The tackle doesn't have help. So what does he do? When his man drops off, he gets his eyes to the outside. And he's able to pick up the edge rusher. Okay, the tackle picks up the first edge rusher. All right, who comes into him there. He bumps out wide outside and picks up the second guy. Now, what's really interesting here, watch the right side. They're doing the same thing. All right, again, the defensive tackle. Is going to step and drop off, and then they're going to send two off this edge. And this is Zach Martin. This is one of the you know one of the better guards in the league. Watch what he does. He doesn't adjust, right? He doesn't make the, make that same adjustment. So I mean, and again, it's a little bit different because the way the defensive tackle uh, defensive uh, end is playing this as well. All right, so. He sees that guy in his face. But what happens here is, look, if he stays, if he maintains this this block and he bumps out, they've got it blocked on that side as well. 
right? At the end of the day, they're sending four guys and they have five guys to block him. The center's a little bit obsolete on this, all right? This guy's not really, you know, not really threatening, but you can see why his eyes steer there. You're trying to block up the, the middle first. But look, because they didn't uh, block it the same way they did in the left-hand side, this edge rusher is free and he's right in Dak's face. All right, Dak's got to kind of short arm something, you know, pretty pretty good job by Dak. You're getting that out there. All right, but he can't really step into his throw or anything. He's got to get rid of it real fast. Good thing he turned his uh, he turned his head that way in time. So, uh, so that, again, really good adjustment, really smart, high level uh, play for Suafilo there. All right, now I'm going to go back uh, to the beginning of this game. We're going to look at one more play. So we're just looking at ten plays over the course of three games for Suafilo here. All right. So, look, we've been kind of talking about higher level stuff. Now we're going to get a little bit more basic. All right. And, you know, you've got to be able to take on the guy that's right in front of you at the end of the day. So he's the left guard here again, number 76. All right. Now, now the Eagles are getting real wide with this. But again, he's kicking out to this guy. So you can see. Not a bad anchor, all right? Kind of leans on the guy a bit, and that's why I, I, he has a tendency, as you can see here, to let guys slip off of him late. So he kind of leans in, you know, not great with his weight there, but not getting pushed right back into the backfield either. A lot of the Bengals' uh, interior linemen in particular had that tendency to kind of get pushed back, didn't have a lot of anchor getting forced back. So, you know, he does a pretty good job with that. Could certainly be better. Could be a little bit, uh, a little bit stronger. You know, he's a he's a vet. He's been in the league for a while. He's probably pretty much who he is at this point. So we can't really expect too much development. All right, but not a bad job until the end. You know, he's leaning, and that allows the guy to make a move and to be able to come off and, and get in there. All right. So overall, we see some good things athletically out of him. All right. Uh, he can move around pretty well. He can block in space. He can climb up to the next level. Uh, he can get it, uh, get out there on poles. All right. Which we saw a lot of in this offense towards the end of the year. Um, you know, in pass protection, he can do some higher level stuff very well, picking up blitzes, uh, picking up twists. Uh, again, things that the Bengals struggled with. You know, uh, so he's he's got a good head on his shoulders. He's going to be able to make a lot of those adjustments and, you know, should be able to, to pick things up very quickly in this offense um you know but not not necessarily a great mover not necessarily a huge you know people mover getting a ton of movement but he's a guy that can get in get in there move around in space get where he needs to be uh so all in all i mean it's a pretty pretty solid pickup uh i think he's gonna probably be starting at the left guard maybe maybe they try him at the right guard i think i think he'll probably start at the left guard might have some competition from michael jordan there uh, but you know it could very well be the two ohio state guys they could flip jordan and have both those guys competing over a right guard uh or you know the alex redmond still in the, in the in the run here as well maybe they draft somebody i don't know but uh suofilo i see as an upgrade uh from john miller from what we saw at john miller last year i definitely see as an upgrade again maybe not where we want to be um, but it was a pretty solid pickup. All right. Uh, pretty, pretty solid pickup they made. Uh, and I think he can do some really good things and, and be a really good fit for this offense. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, keep coming back. We'll keep, uh, pumping out videos every week. Uh, also lots of, uh, lots of great podcasts, uh, throughout the Cincy jungle, uh, platform. Uh, so make sure you are checking those out. Not all of them make it onto YouTube, but, uh, there are some great, uh, great podcasts uh, with all kinds of guests coming on uh, throughout the draft season, throughout free agency. Uh, so we've had some really, really cool guests lately. So make sure you're, you're checking that stuff out. Keep on coming back. And, and again, we'll keep uh, keep putting this stuff out throughout the offseason. Thanks.